here. Hello? Can you guys hear me all right? Oh, and can you hear the game after I do this? Hey, looks good today. Thank you, sir. Looking snazzy. Do you collect epic free games? No, I have... I don't like the epic platform. Or I should say I love the Steam platform, so I, I, I can't get myself to convert to anything else. But I know that they're spitting out a lot of free games, and I have... Lamented not being able to take the step. Marcus Jelinius, hello. All right, let's start the the stone chart content for the day, shall we? And I'm using new microphone setup. All sounds good. Awesome, man. I hope the audio is good and and that you can hear me clearly without the room reverb. That's really what I've been fighting. Was the room reverb on the because I'm using a new micro uh, sound software instead of the old one that I was using the old one was causing some issues that I wasn't aware of uh, it wasn't really affecting the stream so much but it was apparently affecting people listening to me in discord uh, and my friends had been too uh, kind to make me aware of it because they didn't want me to feel bad about it <laughs> so now it was pointed out and I was like oh shit I wasn't I didn't know and then now I've been spending a week Trying out different things to fix it. Here we are. I think it sounds okay. We'll play the game now. And when last we left off. Right, we were coming back from the dungeon that we were getting our butts kicked inside. Trying to sell some loot here. And then we will uh, go back to the same dungeon to see if we can beat the boss. But then I think... I think I've decided that the Bryn dungeons are too hard for me right now. So I gotta like... We're gonna finish this one off and then we're gonna head back to to Osbrook and do a dungeon there if we can. Finally catching a stream, well, welcome you to you, BPN. Uh, Gloomhaven this week for free. Oh, what, really? That's uh, a game that I also want to reduce silver, so... Hmm. That's a really expensive game as well. Maybe I should finally take the step. I know I have an epic account. I, I just get annoyed by having to switch between two platforms, so... Yeah. Hmm. But I really have been considering buying Gloomhaven. I think it would be a perfect game to stream. People say it's really hard, so it's just my thing. <laughs> so I can torture myself with another difficult game, you know. Uh, let's drop the daggers here, because I'm going to bring those. The problem really is here that we have, we've run out of money. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't... Well, it's... I shouldn't drop my stuff here. We should bring it to the other... The other area. Uh, and it's multiplayer. I did not know that. Stun when they put it up for free. Well, you have to put... Uh, until next Thursday to decide. Okay. I have a new concept that we will. Um, I might, might, as, might as well pitch that now, right? We while I remember, and we might have to redo it when more people show up. But whenever people point out a game that we should check out or a, an anime or something, I thought I would. I'm, I'm going to do the same thing that I always do. I'm going to write it down, and then at the end of the stream, we will put off like half an hour, maybe less, if if we can do it faster. But like half an hour, let's say that as a base for like checking out all the recommendations that we get during the stream. So that'll be like a Twitch exclusive thing that we do, because I don't think that would make it to the YouTube channel. Um, but that could be kind of fun. So like, I'm, I'm going to push it all back. And I know we, we both know Gloomhaven, but why not Why not look at it? And now I'm going to maybe sign up for Epic or like log into the Epic account and check it out at the end of the stream here. We'll talk about it in detail then. Here we sell, okay, 150 is quite nice, 90, I think we get more for that. And the books here, we, sh we should be able to sell that to the, the paper guy, newspaper guy, for a good amount of money. Look at that shield, Huskal shield, and that spear. That's a two-handed axe, okay. 
Let's see, 90 and 6 only for the crew damn that. Okay, let's go to the jeweler and see if we can sell them for more there. Uh, what do you think about the backpack? Is it good? Yeah, I like... Um, so it, the backpack makes you more money, theoretically. Uh, but I don't think that's super important, getting more money. Now I'm broken in the current playthrough here, but that's because I overspent in the previous episode. Uh, and of course it does matter. But like, um, I think the stats from a cloak are super important to have, even though it's just like 3% dodge chance. It's It's hard for me to let go of a cloak. And so I would probably use the backpack if we had found it for free, but I would never pay money for it. Like I, I do think that it's important to have all the stacks so you can squeeze out of any build in Stone Shard. And we did get more money out of that here. Did, did I have I not done the stealing thing in in Bryn yet? I, I think I haven't. Uh, so I could do some thievery if we wanted to make some some quick money here. That is a something to consider. Uh, enjoy the Electromancer build. Uh, help me with my current one. Nice, good to know. You are welcome to ask any questions if you just want my opinion or like anything you might need. Tell me about your build. How, how's it going? If you had different experiences than mine, I love to hear about other people's stone shot runs. And then, do you read fiction at all? Uh, I listen to audiobooks. Because I, I'm a slow reader, <laughs> uh, for personal reasons. But I like, uh, I'm, I'm more of a TV watcher, I think. I like, I watch a lot of TV. I do. Uh, sending, reading sends me into sleep. Listen to all my fiction. Really? Okay, yeah. So then I am a big reader in that. I like audiobooks. <laughs> Oh, this is good money. You have already read this book. Good. And this. And that. Good good stuff. Uh, brain worky. I think we are looking for athletics. Oh, one more agility. Okay, I won't buy a book for that, obviously. Right. Why am I holding on to a skill point, then? I am unsure. I only need one more point. Next level, I will get... Uh, that one point of agility and the point that I need to put into the dash. So what are we gonna? I forgot what I what I was waiting with that skill point for then. Huh. People have been telling me to get the the double lunge, and it would lead into another great dagger skill. To be fair, the deadly trick, which is a really really good. It, it used to be really good, and I have, I have not used it since they changed it. So let's see what it does here. It swaps places with the target, delivering a strike with extra damage, extra stagger chance, and crit chance. Burns energy for the amount of damage dealt. That's pretty nice. The attacker also gains counter chance and bleed chance for two turns. Okay. It used to also immobilize the, the defender, but doesn't do that anymore. And what was the other thing? Like, what does this do to the troll? Surely you can switch places with the troll. But I don't know. Painful steps. Weakening jabs. Good evening, Omnipotent. How are you liking Rings of Power and the House of the Dragon? Oof. That's a hot topic. My opinions are controversial, so I don't want to offend anyone. But I like the rings of power a whole lot. I had a hard time unlocking the highest tier spells, so I'm currently at level 22 trying to unlock them. Also bought the electromantic equipment. Ooh, I never found any electromantic equipment for all my run. I actually, this, I realized this recently and I'm pretty sad about it. Confident I can fight the distant dungeons. Also haven't fight with the bosses yet. Okay. Well, at level 22 you can... I shouldn't say that so offhandedly, but you should be able to beat anything in the game. I think. Still watching Rings of Power, yeah. Oh, got bored of House of the Dragon and dropped after three episodes. 
That's kind of where I'm at too. Did you like Rings of Power a whole lot? Yes, I love it. I know my opinions are not like the ones that you see on Reddit. People love to hate that show for some reason. I think it's an amazing TV show, amazing cinema cinematography. It's got action and it's got cool scenes. We get to see places of Middle Earth that we've never seen before. And now in contrast to House of Dragons, things actually happen in Rings of Power and I like action in my shows. Show don't tell. That kind of stuff. Hmm. I need to buy into um, the streaming site that that has that. I forgot what it's called now, but I, I'm gonna do it because I'm tired of torrenting things. I wanna buy, also because they have the other show called, oh, from, from uh, the Terry Pratchett books. Uh, now I forget. The Wheel of Time. They also have The Wheel of Time, and I want to watch that show too. So I think I'm, I'm going to wait until Rings of Power is fully done so that I can buy that streaming platform for a month or two and then binge watch those two shows, and then I'll decide if I want to keep it. Two hundred and seventy-five for a smoked ham. Maybe this is why I'm getting broke. It didn't, didn't used to cost that much. Is Bryn just that expensive? Man, I don't want to pay for that. <laughs> That's expensive. Huh? I, I'm wondering if it's cheaper somewhere else in the town. Um. Where would that be? Like, by the bakery, maybe? We can buy 275. We can surely do better than that. For smoked ham. I have not read the Lotter books or uh, the Good Omens books. Uh, there was a Good Omens TV show, right? I think that's the one. And that one was really good. And I, it might have been a different one. I, th I think that was the one. I think the Galadriel actress shit. Well, agree to disagree. Don't expect War VOT. Wheel of Time to be anything like the books they changed so much. Okay. You can travel to Osbrook and Mancha and stock ham and sausage. <laughs> I should maybe. Yeah. I, I, this is the first time I'm realizing that the prices are so different uh, between the two. I've also meant been meaning to uh, to go to the potion merchant. Let's go do that right now. I have never found an artifact in this game, Hyarkia, so I cannot answer that question. Uh, but I'm in the same boat as you. And we need a vivifying essence. Identification scroll only thirty-eight. Okay. I'll buy those. Smoke bomb, 105, 300, 300, 300. It's too expensive. We gotta be careful with the money right now. But I gotta go repair. Okay, I'm running back and forth. Let's go repair. That's really important. What I love about your stone shard is you never find secret rooms and never find artifacts. If you ever find a secret room, it has shit loot. Yeah, that's my experience. I'm not sure how that keeps happening to me. But the, the next playthrough that we're doing, we're going to play uh, the Hunter build again, which is my, my ranged focus where we do the archery tree or range tree. And um, that means we're going to be putting points into perception, at least up to 20 points. And that should increase my chances of finding... Um, secret rooms and stuff, so I'm really looking forward to that. Something prepared here. Yeah, I see my gloves are ruined. Look at that.
Well, I gotta tease it a little bit with your silver, like, keep keep the, the viewers coming for something, you know? The maybe, maybe thing. They'll be like, does he find a secret room this episode? Nope, failed again. <laughs> but we gotta keep it as an option, right? There, 41. Okay, that done. I wanted to identify these two daggers. Oh, another curse dagger with magic power. Okay. And crit efficiency, cool. I just needed the, these daggers for throwing, really. But, oh, I should repair them. That's that's the thing. Now, let me go repair them real quick. Back and forth. And now we're going to go to the bakery, see if we can scrounge up some cheaper food there. Maybe one of the other taverns has, like, cheaper food. I could imagine that much. So let's check it out. 39. It's pretty expensive. For some reason your cursor is not visible. What? Oh god damn. Why not? Oh, so I have to do it like but then I can't see the chat. Oh I found a problem here then. Interesting. Because if I do this then, oh, not like that, this, then the cursor disappears, but now I can see the chat. It's children, hey. You're using your real streamer account this, this time, that's good. I was trying to watch your stream, sir, and you, you you speak a language that I don't know, so I can't, can't really follow you. Um, okay, let me take a quick pause here and see if I can figure this out. I need to be able to see the chat, obviously, but I, I also... If I'm streaming it from one PC to the other, I don't see the cursor without being in the streaming window over here. Oh. Cursor working, yeah. Put in a stream marker so I can cut this section out for the YouTubes. That's the, the, the benefit you guys get of watching it on the YouTube, is that you don't have to sit through me walking around doing all kinds of other stuff. All the bad parts get cut out. Oh, and then we didn't save it, are you kidding me? Okay. Once more, into the breach. Here we go. Because I didn't... I must have closed the game wrong, I'm not sure. Cutting room floor gold. I am not sure what that means, Veritas. Okay. So, sell the stuff, get the identification scrolls we need to repair. hit the bakery. Uh, let me go to this tavern here and see if the food is cheaper. It is, but it's not super cheap. Okay, but 50 gold different from one tavern to the other. That's good. Here's the bakery. So like if I wanted a bilberry pie, that's only 120. Oh. It spoils in five days, but I can eat it before then. Okay, so we're gonna be by the bilberry pie. And the long bread is fine too. It's really cheap. Okay. Cool. So we can save a lot of money by buying perishable goods then. So watching the live is like taking a peek at the bad stage. Yes, that's. I mean, that's why you do it, I suppose. You can affect the the, the the show as it is ongoing, right? So there's a lot of different pros, pros and cons with the different things. For sure, I'm glad you do enjoy that part of it. 
I think I would find that interesting too. But I don't think everyone does, and that's fine. I want to try to accommodate everyone. Okay, so we were selling to this guy. Good. Drop the disenchantment scroll here. And I think this herbal extract, we're not really using it. Because pain... Maybe I should use it. And the book merchant. Gotta train myself now to watch uh, for the chat in a different spot. I'll fix it before next week's stream. We do not have any drugs, and I think I've been thinking that what I need to do for the higher level dungeons is to bring a drug that isn't Nikef, but one that actually helps me with the combat, and so we won't be leveling as fast. But then I would significantly increase the my power level. So maybe we go to the Rotten Willow Tavern, but that's a few hundred gold just to get there. Uh, it refers to the act of cutting out hilarious sections uh, of films. Ah, okay. That other, that offer an invite. Actors, directors, procedures are human and capable of messing something up. The film ended up being cut, would fail to the f fall to the floor, and would take a fastidious editor to find the beauty in that which wasn't cast that, that which was cast aside. Cotton room floor gold. Ah That's nice. I never heard about this. I love it. I think we won't repair these two decks. Now let's go and buy the pie. Oh, I want to go to the final tavern in the corner here. I think this, the harbor tavern here is like the, the trashy tavern. <laughs> so it might have like cheaper prices. Let's see what the, the ham costs there. I like the hams because I don't have to worry about expiration date. And that's quite nice. Two hundred and ten. So it is the cheapest spot to buy it. I will buy the pie though. Maybe we can compare like exhaustion or like a fatigue. Hunger. Uh, stats on the pie and the and the ham before I buy the pie. We need a place to sleep and then we're ready to go unless I want to go and find a drug. I don't know if we can buy drugs in Bryn. So it's 200 for a ham. By contrast, the hunger, the, the pie gives hunger 20%, then the hunger resistance 7.5 for 60. And then here it's 20% hunger resistance, or oh, more, but for, and for a longer time. But it's like half price, and it gives other stuff too, like morale and fatigue resistance. Interesting. The long bread is almost as good as the the ham has one less use in it and gives us a bit of thirst. But the price comparison. Really?
These are so dirt cheap that I can just like fill up my inventory with them almost. Huh. We've learned something. Buy the long bread. Cool. And I think we will just sleep at this tavern here. I don't think I will bring a drug. Because I feel like we can do without it. Yeah, so we get the Vigor buff. I know I'll need to fill up my water skin too before we go, but we'll just do that as we wake up here. So there, sleep. Boom. Ready to go. A gag reel is a compilation complication compilation of these cuts. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I like gag reels, that's funny. One of my favorite shows I will often, often like go and when I'm done watching the show, I'll go and see if I can find a gag reel. Not like cons like consistently, but I have done it before for sure. Never for animated things. I don't think you do that for animated stuff, but for other live act live action shows it's a grave I feel like I've opened this grave before maybe not last time we broke our hands opening a grave let's just see if you have full health no body part damage at all Why am I intoxicated still? Interesting. Why am I intoxicated? I just slept for 11 hours. Or 10, whatever. Strange. Because my immunity is zero? That must be it. Hmm. Interesting. Another grave, goddamn. Poppy. Uh, the puppy's not terrible. We're looking for bark bean. Acrimony. Intoxication minus 3%. Also, drinking the water will periodically give us some thirst, uh, some intoxication res res uh, reduction, so it will go away over time, but just with this Golia, I suppose. Maybe immunity... Uh, people had told me that immunity has become more important than it used to be. I didn't realize it could be at zero and then we would never get rid of intoxication. And I think that's what's happening. We saved in town before we left, I suppose, so that'll be good enough. But we, we do remember that this was a really tough dungeon, so it's not guaranteed that I can beat it now. Looks like this is the only way we haven't been. 
And I still not spend my skill point. I think I want the double lunge into deadly trick here. I should do the double lunge first. Oh, well, I should do the, uh, the seize the initiative first and fight. Then double lunge. Deflect as needed. Leg sweep. And then gaping wound is like a thing that we do. It's got armor penetration on it. Hmm. But it's it's more effective if they are already injured or bleeding. So it's, it is supposed to be like a, a secondary attack, I think. Okay. Let's do this. He buffs his friend there. I'd rather not fight them both at the same time here. I want him to activate his elusiveness. Okay, that didn't do it. Got there. Missing everything. At least fighting in the doorway is a nice spot. I'm gonna throw another piece of bread at them, hit the wrong guy. Yeah. Mmm, baguette. <laughs> and weeds. Welcome, Felix. Chat is in a new location today, so that's why I'm looking down, not to you. Let's do this. I didn't want to use Seized Initiative on him, I want to use it on the other guy, so... He uses elusiveness, so now we are going to attempt to get away from him. We didn't manage that. Okay. Damn it. This is really dangerous. Each movement or received attacks grant one stack of the effect. Each dodge of received fumbled attack increases decreases number of stacks. Okay, so if I attack him a lot and it and he dodges all of it, it's gonna go away. That's actually kind of interesting. I didn't really realize that. He's already at 18% health. Okay, maybe he's not as dangerous as I thought he was. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe I'm just that badass. Well, herbs, indeed. Call it whatever you want. Just light it up. <laughs> yeah, there. Um. Health restoration now. Good. Let's double down on that. It makes me thirsty. And then we are going to eat some bread. Oh, and look at that. Nice. It makes the bread shorter. Didn't realize that. Cool. Life drain, really good. The tight gloves do not have an enchantment on them, so... Energy plus five. Sure. Basis trees. And a potion. Very nice. Intoxication levels are going down, slowly. Uh, we could use the antitoxin, I suppose. Hmm. Why have I not done it earlier? I'll do it before the boss, if, it, if intoxication is not gone by then. Can 
consumed a baguette, so you're definitely a badass. Not sure if I get the, the correlation there. Why were you throwing bread at enemies? Related question. Are we are now we are now enemies? Bludgeoning damage? Just to I was trying to just hit him and do any amount of damage because he has an, a defensive ability that he activates that is really strong, but he activates it as soon as he takes damage. So if I could like hit him with a piece of bread, he takes one damage. He would activate that ability before he gets into melee with me. So that's the, the reasoning behind it. And I, I was out of bit of stuff to throw. That's a great. Ah, huh, I found the El Kud. Alright, but I wanted some drugs. There they are. Oh, that guy. Okay, this is fine. His, his body is broken, and then we will make him bleed, and he's dead. Nice. And we have found another floor here. Just French like... Just a French like me, by the way. Oh, we have a French pe person in the chat. I don't know a lot of French people. I don't know if we have a lot of French viewers in general, so that's cool. Norma. There's a dude that I don't like. Oh. I have no... I didn't get medical supplies. I have no healing self. I knew I was forgetting something. Whoops. Not gonna go back to the town right now. We're gonna attempt to make this work. Well, that could be bad. The book. Let's throw the mace here. Okay. Sixty-five percent. Okay. Let me hit him with the double launch there. Okay. That's fine. No injuries yet. Let's throw the sword here at him. I kind of want to keep the sword and use it, if I'm honest. Uh, how are you looking? Twenty-one percent. I will say, let's go for gaming mode now. Should be almost dead here. Yep. Let's just do a free attack, basically. Like That's cool. Chain. You think you're alone? Nobody is alone here. Oh, Malloy. <laughs> you're among friends. Did you want to play Sea of Thieves sometime, Keech? Uh, so I'll hold off on it for now. Uh, it's not something that I have been meaning to do, but I'm hoping to try it out, I suppose. I, I've, I've watched a lot of content on it, and I felt like it was sort of raw in the very early stages, but I've, it's been years, I suppose. So if you think it's worth playing, I'd be willing to play it. Let's throw some knowledge at him. For some reason, books can be thrown really far, so... Oh, come on. Nice. Okay, and then... Splint. Okay. That was a bad opener. That was a good start. So, it's the melee. 34%. Let's just go with the game move now. Or sponge. Okay, so now they're, dro they're dropping medical supplies for me. That's kind of nice. Gotta be careful here. There is an enemy, but it's just a bat. Wait for it to come to us here. Okay, big dungeon. All kinds of different directions to go. Let's see what's over here. Uh, oh, one of these guys, the Impaler. Can I get away before he notices me? No. Okay, so we are in the fight. We're gonna bottleneck them up here. 
He punches himself. Thank you. Flagellant. Okay. And that's actually <laughs> doing real damage to him. And he's not getting any use out of the battle rage yet anyway. Okay. Yes, good start. I'm more worried about the Impaler, but obviously not fighting them both together is as important. So I think I will throw the stuff. Crap. He's gonna net me, and then he has a range 2 attack. Gotta kill the Flatillant first, uh, quickly, uh, otherwise we will be in trouble here. So let's see how it goes. Ah, here we go. Oh, and he dodged. Oh, and everything fails. Oh, Lord. I'm dead. So now we deflect. Cool. He's bleeding, so gave him wound. But then he died, okay. Oh, good start. Okay, maybe we're gonna live here. He hits so hard. Kill him! That was dangerous, but we got through it. <sighs> also, did you decide on Mars or no Mars for Div? I want Mars, if you want them. My thermodynamics treatments hurt me a lot back in my first semester. Look at that. Yeah. We talked about book, book throwing in the previous stream. Book, book tossing, I suppose. It's more like the technical term. Amazon started as a book company, so you can really ship books far. Hmm? My physics book did the same from a kinematics to quantum mechanics. Painful thick. I play a dual wheel dagger too, but I didn't choose your I didn't choose your first build. Initiative strike. Is this a mandatory? It's a really, really good skill. The CC initiative here. It does all the things. Cecil Melios is here. No worries about the English, everything's fine. It looks uh, good all around. Uh, skills are half, exactly. It works for every build, it's just so good. Uh, it, it kind of requires you to do... Uh, what, are, where, what are they? You get extra stacks of it from... You, a targeted or an area effect ability, but every build has that. Not mages, but then everyone else. Let's go. Oh, oh, the net. Ah. Cool. Yeah, no medical supplies, but I still think we can do the whole dungeon here. Maybe I'll find a healing cell. Who knows? Usually when I ask for something, I find it immediately. Nothing here. So let's go this way. This looks like it could be the boss chamber. Yes. There's a bat that we can pull out. Another aggro enemy. It sounds like another bat. Pretty sure this is the boss room. There you are. Oh, and he has a friend. That's never good. Okay, but I aggroed only him, it looks like. Yes. Oh, and there's one more. Oh, Lord. Come on. Oh, and I aggroed two at the same time. Damn it. I was really trying. 
and he will uh, shoot at me from range, so... That's really nasty. Oh, I could close the door. But now I'm not able to throw anything at them. This will make the boss guy catch up, which I think is... Now he can open doors? Not complaining, I'm just thinking that they don't usually do that. Okay. Is he coming to melee me? Atos the prompt. It's a scary dude. Bloodthirst, man flesh. The thirst for battle is interesting. He has to spend a turn to activate it, but then it gives him life drain, and this is a really good ability. I think when he uses this, we are going to leg sweep him and try to bit disengage while he has it. So, first, we are hoping to fight this guy right now. I, I will eat the Alkud. So we can have uh, infinite energy for the combat. Came into melee. Alright, so then we are not we're using Season Initiative on the big guy. We're not doing it on, on the small guy. Here. See if we can kill him quickly. Uh, how's it going? He broke his hand, so I will. Escaping wound. And there they switch, yeah. Makes sense. So, season initiative on him. Then... He did... What? Red flesh. Huh. Double launch. I'm doing a lot of damage here. There's his thirst for battle, and he... Dazed me, the other guy, so now I can't do leg sweep. Can I net him in melee? I don't normally do that. But it worked. And then we just step away. And the other guy bled to death. Awesome. Because of my gaping wound. Nice. So, while he has thirst for battle... His everything is stronger. So, four turns until it goes away. We are going to run away for four turns. That's two turns... And then one, two, here. Good enough. Throw stuff at him now. Nice. Okay. He should be out of the thirst for battle. He is indeed. Then, is he injured? No. Go for double lunge. And he uses blood craze. This is an activatable ability? No, oh, okay, that's automatic. But he just attacked me and missed. I see. I think I will just leg sweep here. It didn't do anything. Okay, but we dealt damage. And he staggered. That's good. Uh, lock. Oh. Okay, he's gonna die here. Yes. Okay, I'm getting lucky, I think. But it worked really well. Let's go kill the other guy in here. No fear. You prefer concentration, dual wielding, second line on a pre-fight. Uh, concentrate. I, I think I've looked at it. I'm, I'm, I don't agree. Let me see if I can do, agree with myself here. Concentration there. It's only 12 turns. Using weaponry skills grants one stack of the effects of more hand efficiency and accuracy. Killing enemies for long duration. Doesn't count as a stance. It's not a bad thing. I think uh, the thing is, I don't really enjoy dual wheel training all that much. Well, because we didn't have any weaponry skills. Now we have two weaponry skills, so we're getting closer to it being good. This weaponry skill can performs an attack with a weapon in the other hand. Okay. Yes, okay, I think I will get it. 
We didn't like it before because we only had one weaponry skill, the Gaping Wound. Now we have two. With at three, it certainly will be worth it. Here. This guy makes his ally stronger, but he cannot move, so we must just run away. So that this guy doesn't have, have that friend, and then now we murder him. Good. Let's go kill the guy on the stick. All right. I thought this would be harder. Good stuff. x ray is here. Double launch for the win, Keechan. Yes, you talked me into it. Oh, I missed that earlier. Ooh, found a blood guy in the sackle. Okay. Last time I killed him and two of his friends at the same time, so surely I can kill him alone. Does he run away from me? No, he comes to engage us. Okay. There, and then... Like this. Okay, why did I misstep there? I, I clicked on this tile. Yeah. He is so dangerous, that guy. Is he gonna shoot? No. We might die here. Um, so I can like throw something at him. I think that's the right choice, just to do a little bit more. Here he comes. 18. Kill him! Oh no, I'm standing in the blood! Standing in the blood! Deals unholy and poison damage each turn. I'm gonna die if I stay. Kill him! Jesus. <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, yeah. Everything's fine. We have no healing supplies, so I can't uh, get more maximum health. I uh, might run away if we spot more enemies, but of course I'm going to explore a bit here. Uh, let me pick the block now. On the trap. Okay. No problem. Dungeon cleared. Now we're throwing up? Am I that intoxicated? In your past game, did you fight the boss who invokes three tentacles? No. No, not at all. I've never seen that boss in, in my games. Uh, I think it's the hardest one. Do you agree? I, again, I don't know. Uh, and the other one with the worms. We fought the one with the worms one time, and uh, that was pretty easy, uh, with the Electromancer at least. As soon as you said it was easy, it's like poetry, yeah, yeah. Every time. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I actually got the achievement to survive combat with one health. Yeah, I have that one too, I just got it recently. 
after playing Stone Shadow for 500 hours, uh, finally got it. <laughs>